Uh, moving on to the mirror, Tracy Emming's bed actually seems pretty classy after reading this. Josh? Yeah, another photo. Outrageous photo of Hamas parading Shani Luke's naked and mutilated body wins a top award. So there's a, uh, a very disturbing image of um, Hamas terrorists taking the arguably raped dead body of uh, Shani back into uh, Gaza, parading her around later. And this photo that was part of the Associated Press won this award. Uh, and it's incredible because there's evidence that the people who took these photos, who w had to have known about the attack before it happened, they were there on mm. the, like, as the attack was going on, as they were breaking through the boulders, uh, through, the, um, through the walls, through the, through the gates. Uh, they were there. There were also evidence of folk cameramen who like, were also carrying weapons themselves and grenades. So the idea that this photo uh, shows, uh, like, it's somehow a good photo uh, and sort of shows teamwork, it won, like, teamwork or whatever. So everybody That's is... That's interesting, because you're saying it's, it's won this... Because uh, obviously it's a significant photo. Yes. So I, I don't think it's that it should be condemned, like, to be never seen again. It's an important piece of, of evidence. But you're saying it wasn't celebrated for that. It was celebrated for some sort of artistic merit. Well, no, no, not the artistic merit. Just, just it's kind of like uh, the collaborative effort of photography staff covering a single topic. What, well, we're taking collaborative to the extremes here. We're mm. talking part of it. So the issues are, one, content of having a dead young woman just recently murdered there. And then we've got the other um, issue about who took it and, the co and, and how they were part of that team and to what level were they involved. Nick, thoughts? Yeah, I agree. I mean, in theory, a, a disturbing war photo, for example, could win an award despite having just horrific content, obviously, because it's important work. This, as I, I agree with Josh, the question, though, is, is, is how are these journalists working alongside Hamas? We've, there's been a lot of grey areas about that, since, from what I've looked at. In October 7th, in general, all these left-wing newspapers and things involved in left-wing media, somehow there, along with Hamas, like, coordinating. That's what makes it particularly disturbing. That's, for me, and that throws off the whole question of whether it should win awards and things. Right, sure.